We are in the Toronto Beaches neighborhood and we are at a client's beautiful backyard, which uh, I like to call Club Med. This was a project that took, well, a little over two years to complete. So it started off with doing a small addition to an existing patio and it sort of spiraled into this full, beautiful backyard, including pool level and woodland level and upper deck. The top level is right off the kitchen. They can come out, they eat meals. There's a really beautiful barbecue outdoor kitchen set up. So that zone is really all about eating and preparing food. Then just off the new addition, they have really like a cozy space. They have a couple of love seats and a chair and it's a really just quiet, peaceful area just to sit. It almost feels like you're in a tree house really in that level. Of course, they have the entertaining level, which has a day bed. It has numerous areas where you can sit, as well as another outdoor kitchen and just a zone where you can sit and have a light lunch or, you know, coffee afternoon snack and still be able to watch the kids play in the pool or jump in the pool yourself. Sometimes there's things that come up that are unexpected, to say the least, in any renovation, exterior or interior. And because of structure, there had to be a concrete bed outside of the exterior wall, which we had clad in wood and stained and then made a day bed out of it. It really was something that could have been an eyesore, but we turned it into something that is super functional and the client uses it all the time. For the most part, the idea was to keep it pretty neutral and let the architecture and the landscaping speak for itself. Part of working with the landscape architect was to make sure that the materials also didn't detract from the outdoors. There is a lot of glass. It does come with a price tag attached to it, but some of the initial iterations of the materials showed very simple, nice fencing, which you'll also see throughout the property, but it kind of felt jail-like. So we really needed the glass to soften the space. And I think also to blur that line between hardscape and landscape. It allowed you to really connect with nature in a way that you couldn't with it just being, you know, a black metal railing. When we come down to the pool level, it's a little bit more resort-like. They have some super comfortable chairs and ottomans. They're a deep chair, so they almost feel like you're lounging. And they're really fantastic. They move around, they're lightweight. There are a couple of chaise lounges because of course, there are times when we literally do want to lie down and soak in the sun and, you know, there was also the notion that there might be cannonballs and dives coming off the deep end of the pool. So maybe you want to have something that you can be a little bit further back so you're not constantly getting soaked. The pool level was definitely meant for play and relaxation too. The hot tub stays open all year round. So that was a nice feature and it was designed to feel like its own space. It's connected of course to the pool, but it's a little bit of a raised deck where it is. So the idea is that people could also lounge about and sit there as well. So I like to create seating zones and I also like to imagine how people are gonna use a space. Plus we wanted to have some beautiful plantings. So the planting soften the hardscape and the architecture. And I think what's nice about the plantings in particular that's been used throughout, they're a little bit unexpected in terms of what we would typically find with modern backyards. So there's a lot of softness, there's some color. The homeowner did not want it to feel super structured. She wanted there to be some looseness as opposed to just grasses or what we would often find in more modernist backyards. There is still yet again one more level to this backyard. So it's a woodland level. It still has some of the kids play structures, but it's almost like just being in a lovely park or, you know, you can kind of connect with nature. It's the perfect place to do it. It also houses the little pool house and the outdoor shower, which also has a little bit more of a cottagey feel to it. So it really feels nicely connected to the woodland garden, as I like to call it. This project, I think, turned out beautifully. I think the collaboration between, you know, the client, the landscape architect and myself was great. The homeowners love the space. They use it all the time. They entertain out here a lot. As one of the homeowners says, when she walks outside, it's like an exhale.